Happening now, a rare celestial event. The Griffith Observatory providing this live image of a major lunar standstill. The moon rising to its most northern point possible. Flashback to June when the moon rose to its most southern point possible. Ancient sites like St Stonehenge were said to align to these events, showing their historical importance. And Fox 11 meteorologist R. Harvey joins me now to talk more about this. Yeah. So let's talk about the significance of this and explain really what the standstill <laughs> means. Yeah, so pretty much what we're looking at is, first of all, I want to state that this is something that hasn't happened since uh, 2006. Oh, wow. So okay. it's been it's a while. Time. Yeah. Almost 20 years. <laughs> it's a right? while. Yes. And uh, it does happen on a 18 and a half year lunar cycle. So okay. it is one of those once in a generation uh, type of thing. So. A huge deal for anyone that does uh, love the moon <laughs> or our major uh, lunar standstill. And so uh, pretty much what this is, is we have our, our moon at the most northerly point on the horizon. And so again, we stated how often it happens. And here tonight, we have it started at uh, 644, so about 10 minutes ago. And it will appear until 719. So in order to view this uh, with the best view, we want to make sure to be looking at our most east north northeast point and you want to be looking at that north bearing so the major in standstill is when the moon's rising or the setting are the wildest that they get in this very long cycle that 18.5 18.6 year lunar cycle uh, and again it it matters so much because it is a, a once in a generation not a once in a lifetime a once in a generation uh, opportunity and so over the next few weeks uh, you'll notice the moon may take different tracks you'll hmm. notice uh, that it may appear higher or lower and also with uh, the atmospheric uh, shifting there you'll be able to see that the moon will appear to change color so we'll have it looking orange out there with these nice hues and it'll be a, a beautiful thing and when you. we say that it aligns with uh, uh, Stonehenge for instance mm -hmm. what do we mean by that so pretty much we have these uh, cultural and archaeological and uh, ancient significance like Stonehenge and so what that means is that it is aligning with these lunar extremes so for instance, people thousands of years ago uh, appear to have paid attention to uh, these lunar cycles. Got it. So we just had everything aligning with that. All right, so we have good reason to look up tonight if you're yes, able to yes. get outside and look. Yes, yes. All right, very cool. Of Thank course. you for educating us. Of course. All right, start. <laughs>